All right, I'm gonna try my hardest not to laugh, guys. <laughs> I can't, bro, I can't. All right, look, what is this madness, bro? All right, man, this video's gonna be crazy, guys. Um, Just like I've been saying, guys, all these Christianity pastors and teachers and bishops and pastors, they're effeminate, okay? Man-made religion, when you don't follow the spiritual laws of the Most High, this is the type of stuff you're gonna entertain. Okay, what is this? You have a cop. Someone's, I see, saw people saying that's a male stripper. I don't know if it's a I don't know what it is, but why is T.D. Jakes entertaining? Look at his dad. He's, look at he's checking him out. Oh, heck no, bro. No, no, no. No, no, no. Any straight male? No, bro. No, 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 no. Okay. There's going to be so much to talk about in this video, guys. This is crazy. All right. Um, the most I showed me back in 2018, 2017, that your TD Jakes, your uh, Creflo Dollars, uh, your Joe Ostens, um, uh, all, you know, the Benny Hens, all the mainstream mega church pastors, they're all of the devil, okay? They all sold their soul. And look at this picture I'm showing you. I think I'll show on this side or that side, okay? It says, a time will come. When instead of the shepherds feeding the sheep, the church will have clowns entertaining the goats. That's exactly what is happening, okay? I saw on Twitter, you know, Christmas Day, a pagan holiday. Of course, it's these, of course these churches aren't telling you that. Of course they're not because it's all for money, okay? It's all for money. Like I told you guys, Easter, all these pagan holidays, these pastors, these 501c3 pastors are not going to tell you the truth about these pagan holidays. It's because that's the days where the world, you know, most people who call themselves Christians are all of the world. Most of them, okay, uh, and they don't know about they don't know about the truth. You know, they don't know about this being pagan holidays. It's not Jesus' birthday. It has nothing to do with God. Nothing to do with the Bible. The Bible actually condemns it in Jeremiah chapter two verse five. Um, you know, but I saw something on Twitter. It had like two, three million. It had a lot of views, and it was a church. Uh, I'm not sure what the church's name was, but. It had like they were having entertainment, like they were having like you know artists performing. And it made me think, like, it made me think, like, you know, the church is supposed to be a place where people get the word, uh, people are getting baptized, people are getting convicted, uh, you know, people are transforming their lives. And now I'm seeing in 2023 and above and going to 2024, it's just entertainment centers, okay? You have, you know, people are just going there for entertainment. It's not to be convicted, not to repent of their sins, uh, not to give their life to Christ, not to stop being lukewarm, to stop, you know, being in love with their sins. It's not that. The church is dead, guys. The church is spiritually dead, okay? And when you have people like T.D. Jakes, Joe Osteen, Creflo Dollars being the top the top people, you know, the, the giants of being the pastors and of these mega churches, that's a red flag. That's a sign. And what the Most High is doing, guys, he is judging, okay? Uh, let's go over the scripture, and this is going to back it up. But one thing, speaking of before I show the scripture, you know, I used to watch, you know, the T.D. Jakes, uh, the Joe Osses. I used to watch them, right? And one thing that I noticed, you know, their sermons will be for an hour, two hours long. And looking back, I don't remember them ever going over Bible scriptures. I, I, I never, not to say that I never did, you know, I never watched all. I'm pretty sure he had, you know, sometimes he did. But I don't remember him ever going over the scriptures. And see, people who listen to false prophets and false teachers and people who sold their soul to the devil, who are disguising themselves as an angel of light, it's because they don't read the Bible. Okay, when I used to watch these, these false teachers and false prophets, the ear-tickling uh, pastors, okay, I didn't read the Bible, so I didn't know any better. Okay, but even though I didn't know any better, let's say if I were to die that day, whatever, right? I'd still be held accountable because the truth is out there. You have to seek the truth. Okay, back then I was being lukewarm. You know, I was, uh, well, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say I was being lukewarm because I didn't know the truth. So I was just deceived. I was just a sheep being led astray, you know, like most people, right? And uh, when I started actually reading the Bible and actually having a relationship with the Most High, I left religion because religion doesn't teach you the truth. You know, I actually started opening my Bible, uh, not relying on anybody, but, you know, my spiritual walk with the Most High and, you know, being on fire, being on fire, loving the truth, seeking the truth with all my life. You know, just like how back when we were in the world, we would, you know, do things of, we would do things of darkness with, you know, everything that we had, you know, and I just thought to myself, like, why not go give for God that all that I have, you know, all my strength and, you know, all that type of stuff, right? And I came to the conclusion, these people who follow these type of people is because either they're lukewarm or they don't read their Bible, you know, they're, they're of the world. So let's go over the scripture real quick. All right, it says in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it begin first at us, what shall the end be that obey not the gospel of God? 
Okay, so this verse is letting us know that God is going to judge us believers first, the body of Christ, or you know, the so-called body of Christ, the people who are disguising themselves as a light, people who you know, he's, he's going to be judging us first before the world first. So I know these are just allegations of TD Jakes. I saw what a bottom. Let's look at what a bottom. I don't, I don't even know what it, I think I know what it means. Bottom, bottom feeder. Is it bottom? Wait, no, 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 no. It's uh, power bottom. What's it called? I, I type in power bottom on Google and it, it, type, it, it searches TD Jakes automatically. So people don't, I don't even know what it means, guys. I think I know what it means. Let, let's. Okay, never. I, I, <laughs> I can't. I'm going to keep this family friendly, guys. I'm gonna keep. I wanted to show you guys, but I'm gonna keep it family friendly. I thought I, I thought I, I, I thought I knew pretty sure what it meant. Uh, but now, once again, these are just allegations. Um, but we see what happened with Diddy. We see. And speaking of Diddy, guys, here, um, guys, the mo 2024 is gonna be very interesting, guys. To be very, very interesting. Um, the mark of the beast is gonna continue getting push. I like. I, I said this in my last video. I saw. Elon Musk had a uh, Twitter space. For those who don't know what it is, like Twitter has like, like voice chats or whatever, like group chats, voice chats, whatever it is. It's like um, public. And that's for the public. And I saw Alex Jones in there, which many people say, oh, he's a Christian, Mark. He's a Christian. I saw, um, what's his name? Uh, Andrew Tate. Oh, Mark, Andrew Tate believes in God. Man, the sheep are so full. These are all Freemasons. They're all CIA. Okay. How could people who believe in God or who call themselves Christians even talk to, be friends with someone who's pushing the mark of the beast. You know, Elon Musk, the one who wants to put a chip in your brain. Doesn't that sound like the mark of the beast? He's going to be pushing and ushering out the mark of the beast, okay? Um, people, you even have Christians who, who follow Elon Musk, who look up to him, uh, look up to Andrew Tate, you know? And I understand a lot of Christian YouTubers, they talk about Andrew Tate because his views. They want to get their views up. I get it, you know? But at the same time, that guy is of, of darkness, bro. Freemasons. Like I said, the sheep, they're not smart animals. Goats, not smart animals. Okay, they can fool the sheep. They can fool the goats. They ain't fooling me. Okay, so I want to show you guys. See, this is why people, they can't, they're not able to see, guys. Hold up, hold up. Now, like I said, guys, most people, they're not able to see. Okay, uh, now most, now shout out to the people who can see this. The picture I'm showing you guys, all the people are looking at this picture. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. And they're being like, Mark, what, what's wrong with that picture? There's nothing wrong with this picture, okay? So you, a lot of people are symbol literate, okay? What is P. Diddy's hand showing you right there? That's the Freemason Illuminati, okay? What is T.D. Jakes, you know? And people are like saying, because, you know, T.D. Jakes was, was seen at a Diddy party. And, you know, people were saying, oh, Mark, you know, he's just going there to pray. Like, people are so simple-minded, okay? Um, I was watching a video of someone who used to be friends with Diddy, and he said that the only time people at, at Diddy's party is to either make money or to have uh, intercourse, you know, S-E, X. Okay, and I believe that. I believe that. Now, is was T.D. Jakes a bottom? What's it called? A, a power bottom? <laughs> a power bottom? <laughs> I want to show you guys. Like I said, I'm going to keep it family friendly. I'm going to keep it PG. Okay. Oh, uh, they all show you guys. They all show you with the signs and symbolism symbols, the guys, all Freemasons. Uh, but like I said, guys, people are not able to see. All right, like I said, people are not able to see. All right, Andrew Tate putting up the symbolism right there. He, they call himself the top G, top Freemason. I'm telling you guys, a lot of people are stupid. A lot of people are not able to see. They're deceived. They're always being manipulated. Uh, it's unfortunate, guys. Very unfortunate. People got mad at me. Of course, they're going to get mad at the one who's telling them the truth. They're not going to get mad at the people who are deceiving them, who are leading them to hell, leading them astray. Of course not. They're not going to get mad at them. No way. There's not enough synergy. There's all of this industry and not enough synergy. And yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when Bernie Mac played the minister on Friday? Yes. That's how I feel about TDJ. Facts, facts, <laughs> facts, facts. Like that's how I see. Oh, Miss Parker, come to pray. I, but I didn't... for him to be at a Diddy party? I don't know. Like, I, I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. So God bless you, Bishop. I pray right now that you will continue to do everything you're doing. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all this over you. I pray his show, favor. Bro. I pray the blood Total of Jesus show. will come upon you right he now. Caught the Holy Keep Ghost. You in the <laughs> God, I thank you for your blessings. <laughs>
Oh, it's <laughs> acting, guys. It's acting. All an act. Somebody give God some praise. <laughs> He's pushing that baby out. Come on, oh, in. man. Tyler Perry is the bishop of what? <laughs> like, I've never, like, and I cut a check for a hundred, and I'm going to lay my hands on your bishop. And he said, uh, uh, and then the bitch said, it's on the fucking internet. He's, ah, he's doing all of this, right? And then there's a woman on, on, the, on the dais screaming, push the baby out. Birth that baby. Push the, I'm like, what? are we at church? <laughs> Or is this about to turn into like a whole nother scene, like a lost scene from Eyes Wide Shut? Like, <laughs> this shit is looking a little weird. I mean, if Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Money and sex. There you go. I, I hope it was for money. Charitable contribution. I hope it was for money because arguing about who's going to put the strap on on is. <laughs> that can be a very uncomfortable situation. You know, we're going to pray on it. Praise the Lord. You know? All right. Luke chapter 8, verse 17 says, For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything that is hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Okay, so if you're living a secret lifestyle, uh, doing the abominable things, you know, because the LG, choo -choo 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 -choo, okay, you know, being a man, sleeping with a man, being a woman, sleeping with a woman, according to the Bible, that's an abomination to the Most High, okay? And, you know, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. All right, and him being in a role, in a position to be a bishop, which is a high calling by God, and he's living a double life, um, I truly believe the Most High, not just him, but the Most High is going to start exposing a lot of these people in 2024, okay? Uh, the time is up, guys. So 400 years of slavery is over, okay? It started in 1619. You guys saw the movie. Uh, what was the movie called? Leave the World Behind. There was so much symbolism in the beginning of the movie where you see 1619 in the car scene in the beginning, okay? The, the, and that movie was, I think, produced or directed by Barack the Obamas, okay? Even they know. They know these devils and the Satan worshipers, okay? They know who Israel is, but do you know who you are? Okay? And like I said, guys, if you if you were, you know, black, uh, African, whatever, we always had a mom, an auntie, a grandma who was playing TD Jakes every Sunday, every Saturday, or just, you know, throughout the day, random times. Always listen to the false prophets, okay? Um, and it's time, guys, if, if you don't wake up, the most is going to force you to wake up. And now, of course, you know, not everyone, not everyone could be saved, as according to the scriptures, only few are only few are chosen. But you can't say you weren't warned, okay? Um, a lot of people, guys, are playing. You know, they're lukewarm. They're of the world, so they're listening to these TD Jakes. So listen to them because they're of the world. The world loves its own, like the like the scripture says. Okay, uh, so 2024 is going to be very, very interesting. I just heard that the Epstein lists, the Jeffrey Epstein, of over 180 politicians, celebrities, entertainers, athletes that are in that list that participated in a lot of, you know, sick stuff, okay? So that, and that list is going to be exposed next year. So whoever's on that list, and if you guys still support them, okay, I'm telling you guys, a lot of these people that are going to be on the list are people who you voted for, your politicians. Like I told you guys, this is all a matrix. You can't trust nobody. You can't trust a politician. A lot of people are waiting for Trump to get reelected. Listen, guys, he's a part of the same club too, Trump, Biden. The only one we could hope, the only one who we could put our trust and faith in is the son, the son of God, Jesus Christ, okay? But, you know, people are going to listen to the brothers like Ringo TV Reactions, the New Breeds, okay, who speak the truth, you know, New Breed Global Truth, who speaks the truth. No, they're going to continue to listen to these false prophets because they're of the world and the world loves its own, okay? So um, this is a warning, guys. The Most High is going to knock down these giants, knock down these top dogs in these churches, okay? And, I, and my prediction is that people are still going to support them. People are, because it's just a strong delusion, guys. It's a strong delusion. They don't love the truth. So God's going to give them over to the strong delusion 
just as the scripture says. I'm telling you guys, I would listen to T.D. Jakes back in the day as Joe Olsen, and I never heard any Bible scriptures going out of these you know, so-called pastors, so-called bishops. They're just motivational speakers. And there's nothing wrong with being a motivational speaker, but when you put yourself in a position, the head of church, and, you know, um, calling yourself a bishop and this, and you're not, you know, feeding the sheep. You're just entertaining the goats, clown shows, circus shows. Uh, it's a bad look, man. It's a really bad look. And, um, you know, I just, I, I hope, I hope you guys are actually opening your Bible and reading it for yourself. You're not relying on a Sunday church service on a, on a Christmas pagan holiday, satanic holiday, Easter. You know, I hope you guys are truly seeking out the most high with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. Uh, these are the last days. It's going to get real wicked. You have an Elon Musk pushing out a, mar a chip in your forehead. A lot of people are going to take it, and they're going to disguise this as, they're, they're going to make this chip look very, um, you know, oh, it's going to cure this. Oh, it's going to it's gonna reverse uh, balding. It's going to reverse uh, sickness and all that. They're going to make it, they're going to prop it up to make it seem like it's something that you have to get. But, you know, once you get it, once you get that chip, once you get that mark, no matter if you're a Christian, no matter if you put up your hands at the church, once you get that ship, guys, it's over for you. Damnation prophesied in Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, 8 to 12. Love you guys. If you guys made it this far, like, subscribe, share. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Did you guys used to listen to T.D. Jakes too? Um, you know, I know some people who went to their churches and stuff like that. A lot of people told me, yeah, I used to listen to them, Mark. They're all false prophets, the ravenous wolves in sheep clothing. And that's great to see people waking up, guys, you know, clinging on to the Father because these people, guys, they're only after one thing. It's the money. They sold their soul to Satan, and it is what it is. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.